In this video, we'll calculate the final concentrations of two compounds that result when solutions of these compounds are mixed. 800 milliliters of 2 molar sodium carbonate is mixed with 2 liters of 3.5 molar potassium chloride. Determine the concentration of sodium carbonate and potassium chloride in the final mixture. The two solutions do not react with each other. Because the solutions do not react, when finding the final concentration of sodium carbonate, treat the potassium chloride solution like it is just water. And when finding the final concentration of potassium chloride, treat the sodium carbonate solution like it is just water. The final volume of the mixture will be needed for both calculations. When adding 800 ml of sodium carbonate to 2 liters of potassium chloride, the volume units have to be the same. We could either change 800 milliliters to liters or 2 liters to milliliters. Here we'll change the 2 liters of potassium chloride to milliliters. We write down 2 liters and multiply by the conversion factor 1000 milliliters to 1 liter. Cancel out the liters and the volume of the KCL solution is 2000 milliliters. Now the number 2.000 has four significant figures. So we put a decimal after the last zero in 2000 with no zeros after the decimal. Written this way, 2000 also has four significant figures. We can now change the 2.000 liters here to 2000 point milliliters. Now we can calculate the final volume of the mixture. 800 milliliters of the sodium carbonate solution plus 2000 milliliters of its potassium chloride solution equals a total of 2800 milliliters. 2800 milliliters is the final volume, which we'll call volume V2 in the following calculations. Now we'll calculate the final concentration of the sodium carbonate solution. The initial concentration of sodium carbonate C1 is 2 molar. The initial volume V1 is 800 milliliters. And the final volume V2 is 2800 milliliters, the total volume of the mixture. Our unknown in this calculation is the final concentration of sodium carbonate, which we'll call C2. Since we're adding 2000 milliliters of KCl, which we can treat as if it was water, to the sodium carbonate solution, we use the dilution formula to calculate the final concentration of sodium carbonate. The dilution formula is C1V1 is equal to C2V2. We rearrange this equation and solve for our unknown C2. And we get C2 is equal to C1V1 over V2. We can put the given values in here. The initial concentration C1 is 2 molar. The initial volume V1 is 800 milliliters and the final volume V2 is 2800 milliliters. So we can use this equation to calculate the final concentration C2. We cancel the milliliters, go 2 times 800 divided by 2800, and we get 0.571 molar. So we can state that the concentration of sodium carbonate in the final solution is 0.571 molar. Our next step is to calculate the concentration of KCl in the final mixture. We can determine the given values for KCl and note them here. The initial concentration of KCl is 3.5 molar. Its initial volume is 2000 milliliters and the final volume V2 is 2800 milliliters, the total volume of the mixture. Again, we start with the equation C2 is equal to C1V1 over V2. We can insert the given values in here. The initial concentration C1 is 3.5 molar. The initial volume V1 is 2000 milliliters and the final volume V2 is 2800 milliliters. We can now use this expression to calculate the final concentration C2. We cancel out the milliliters and go 3.5 times 2000 divided by 2800 and we get 2.5 molar. So we note up here that the concentration of KCl in the final solution is 2.5 molar. So the final answer to this question is, when 800 milliliters of 2 molar sodium carbonate is mixed with 2 liters of 3.5 molar potassium chloride, 
The final concentration of sodium carbonate is 0.571 molar and the final concentration of potassium chloride is 2.5 molar.